So hi guys, so we're, I'm going to show you this uh, engine fire business that I've been talking about. On the Boeing 747, as with other Boeing jets and even Airbus as well, what happens is if you get a fire warning on the runway during the takeoff, before you get to V1, you will get the fire bell and the associated lights for the engine fire, which allows the crew to reject the takeoff as in close the thrust levers, make sure the speed brakes deployed and reverse thrust maximum braking to a stop. After the speed of V1, you still get the fire indication on the ICAS. However, you do not get the fire warning bell because it's inhibited until you're airborne. It allows the air crew to not be distracted by the noise of the fire bell until they get to a sufficient safe altitude. Then the bell will come on if it hasn't already come on so but you do get the associated lights come on for the engine fire so the first one I'm going to do now is an engine fire with the fire before we get to the speed of V1 which means we'll get all the associated warnings the ICAS warning the fire bell and we'd have to do the rejected takeoff so here we go We are on the ground at Narita, Tokyo. Show the runway. There you go, Narita runway 16. We're going now, and he's going to show you what's going to be on the high guys. First, you set. Rejected the takeoff and brought the aircraft to a complete stop. The first officer put that there, cancel, stop the noise. So we reject the takeoff and look at the warnings we have. Engine three is on fire. We had the uh, master caution come on, I've just cancelled that. Fire engine three and the associated fuel control switch is also red. There it is, number three. So I would immediately do the fire drill here. The thrust lever is idle. I'd cut off the fuel. I'd pull the fire switch. And fire the bottle. There we go, the engine fire. I fired the bottle, bottle low, Eng 3B. So that's gone into the engine. In the meantime, the first officer, the PM, would be calling tower, cafe, so and so, rejected the takeoff on the runway, holding position, the fire is still going on. We might immediately decide, ATC would also be telling us we can see flames and so on, and would immediately decide to do an evacuation. Most likely would do an evacuation. That's what happened. So that's an engine fire with the fire coming on before V1. You get the associated fire bell and all the light warnings. So we'll do the next one, which will be a fire with the fire coming on after V1 and you'll notice that the bell will not come on until we're airborne at least 30 seconds after airborne then the bell will come on just to avoid distracting the pilots while they're doing the initial takeoff let's go All right now hi guys so the next one is going to be an engine failure with uh, power loss after V1 you notice the engine will fail because the indication here will be that the engine's failed but we'll also have a fire indication without the bell again as i said it because it's because it stops distracting the pilots until the airplane is safely airborne so once we get to a certain altitude we'll get the fire bell come on which the pilots then can cancel but at least the airplane's above the ground and is safe is under control so let's go take off Again, one six right in Narita. Frost is coming on. Hit the toga, and there comes the frost. That's it. Eighty knots.
Once the fire has come on, the engines fail, the fire has come on, rotate, but no bell. Maintaining V2, pause the brake, gear up please. some rudder in to keep the aeroplane flying safe I've put the autopilot to command and we're waiting now for 400 feet where we'll get a thrust ref there it is thrust ref VNAV speed at this point I'll say confirm the failure the FO or the PM would say fire edge one I as pilot flying would say look here and confirm it and say check fire edge one fire edge one memory items memory items, I would say number one thrust lever. The PM would say check and go to idle. Number one fuel control switch, which is red as you can see, check, cut off. Number one fire switch, which you can see is up there, is on, indicating a fire, pull. And then I'll immediately discharge the extinguisher. You look there, once the extinguisher is in there, bottle low edge one A. That bottle, fire bottle, has been discharged. 30 seconds later, if the fire is still on, we'll discharge the next bottle. So that's an engine fire with power loss after V1. You notice the fire bell did not come on until the airplane was safely airborne. That's what happens. The last one I'll show you is engine fire after V1 without power loss. Okay guys, so the last one is an engine fire without power loss after V1. Again, we won't get the fire bell going because, as I said, it stops the distraction of the pilots. 30 seconds or so after airborne, we'll get the fire warning bell. So let's try it. Okay, let's go. Setting thrust for takeoff. Still at Narita, runway 16 right. Hit the toga. to set we're on our way detected somewhere around the engine but there's no power loss so it's still developing thrust so it's handled slightly differently I haven't had to put any rudder input in and the uh, rudder input will come in once we shut down that engine and do the initial actions which I showed you before later 